Our very first Forge of Light event is here in Call of Dragons, and this is a great way to get a specific artifact if you want it, but that doesn't mean that everyone should play this event. So stick around in this video for the guidance you need about the Forge of Light and whether or not these two artifacts are for you. Hello my friends and welcome back, I'm Chiskul Gaming, and I'm really hyped to see this Forge of Light event show up because I've been very, very interested in cranking out some high power artifacts. So in this video, I want to do a couple things. First and foremost, I want to review the artifacts you see here on your screen. Then I'll review how the event works and the value of the bundles and the things that I got when I max purchased for 185 bucks, the things that you can buy associated with this event. From there, we'll do the polls, and I am hyped. I really hope I get lucky. So let's start by talking about the two artifacts that are available in this very first run at the Forge of Light in our server. The first is the Infernal Flame. This is a magic unit attack item. Using dust on this will increase the magic unit attack. Increasing the star level will increase the legion attack. This goes to a maximum of 24 and 22% respectively. This item has a 1,600 rage cost to activate, which is not cheap. It'll take time. However, when cast, your legion will deal additional damage whenever they launch a normal attack. Okay, this is an artifact skill dealing magic damage factor of 2,200 at max. That is 1,100 at base for three seconds. So it's a solid amount of damage per second boost. But you may notice this is actually much less damage than other artifacts like the Phoenix Eye. So what else does this do? There is more. Passive. So there's a passive effect here. Your Legion gains Magic Keen when the wielder inflicts Scorch on enemies. Magic Keen increases your attack by 15% base for 5 seconds. 30% when maxed for 5 seconds. 30% more attack is really good. Now, weirdly, this seems really good for, like, a normal attacking situation. Like, rallies, okay? And garrisons, I guess. But not so great for just, like, general fielding. And this effect, by the way, this Magic Keen passive effect, can be triggered once every 10 seconds. Now, wait a minute. Your Legion gains Magic Keen when the wielder inflicts Scorch. That happens with 100% certainty, and it happens once every 10 seconds. That's insane. So you may be wondering, where does Scorch come from? How would I inflict Scorch? And at this moment, there is only one hero that inflicts Scorch, and that is Lilia. So if you're using Lilia, this artifact seems really, really good, especially for rallies, okay? But also, um, you know, compared to the other option you have, if we go to the, the tavern where you can do regular artifact pulls, I think the Phoenix Eye is actually a better artifact. I think that doing burst damage is the name of the game in player versus player combat. And being able to hit five enemies right away instantly is just gang freaking buster. So I actually think the Phoenix Eye is a better artifact. It's a little bit more difficult to use because it does require a skill shot, whereas um, the other one just requires an activation. So if you had the Phoenix Eye, I think it's actually just generally better. But if you don't have the Phoenix Eye, which I don't, then picking up this guy, the Internal Flame, definitely seems interesting to me. And it's something I'm going to go for and see what I can do with it. Now, there is one other option here, the Springbird Feather. And the Springbird Feather is a mobility item. This item grants you Legion March Speed with your Dust and Legion Hit Points with your star levels. That is a maximum of 24.5% march speed and 17% hit points, and it works for any troop type. This is very interesting. I can see this being powerful on cavalry. I can see this being particularly powerful on celestials, navigating terrain really quickly. And what does it do? There is no rage cost. You can just use it whenever you want. Grants your legion and up to 10 surrounding friendly legions haste for 10 seconds. Okay, um, at the base level, it gives you 24% march speed and your friendly legions, 16. But if it's maxed, you get 48% march speed for your march and 32% for the friendly marches. 
If you wanted to launch some sort of crazy cavalry rush or some sort of crazy celestial rush where you close the distance very quickly, this seems really, really cool. Is it strong universally? I would say no, not necessarily. Um, but is it cool? Yes. And could you do a cool um, play with it? Yes, one person with this could be a playmaker. So between the two, if you're a pay-to-win in the game and you have the Lilia, um, the Infernal Flame seems cool, but also not particularly necessary compared to the Phoenix Eye, which I actually would make the argument might just be better. So let's talk about the event itself. Forge of Light, because there's a special artifact key that you use for this, and you choose which of these two you want to be your sort of pity draw. And let me explain that. All right, we'll make our way over to the wish system. Make a wish for your desired artifact. If you do not receive your desired artifact after two consecutive draws, the next legendary, so your third legendary that you pull, is guaranteed to be your desired artifact. Now, I'm going to select the Infernal Flame, and interestingly, the Springbird Feather is already available from Artifact Keys. So um, this is only available from this event, and I don't know when it will show up in other places. I'm told there are some potential end-of-season rewards where you can get it. And note that you can get this wish, I believe, twice, two times. You can get your wish, and after that, it's just luck of the draw. So this says, Blessings. During the event, you may wish for an artifact. When you draw a legendary artifact that is not your desired artifact, you gain one blessing from Leosa, the god of light. When you have two blessings, your next legendary artifact you draw is guaranteed to be your desired artifact. If you receive your desired legendary artifact while the compendium is open, your blessings will be reset. If you've not wished for an artifact, you will not receive blessings. Blessings cannot be accumulated. Once the compendium closes, all blessings will be reset, which means if you're really close to getting your next wish, you might want to consider... No, you know, getting more keys to try to go for your guaranteed draw of the artifact you really wanted. Because here's the deal. Unlike your regular keys, the number of artifacts you can get here is constrained. So there is a 0.9% chance, an elevated chance, for the Internal Flame and the Springbird Feather. There is also a chance to get the Wolf Woman of Haler, Lucia's Horn, the Fang of Ashkari, the Springs of Silence, and the Tear of Arben. But you'll notice a lot of other legendary artifacts are missing from here. They're not included in the list, which is a little bit of a bummer, because there's obviously things like the Phoenix Eye that I'd love to get that's not in this list. So this is a subset of the total artifacts available from the pool. And uh, at least there's a Green Finger Sickle. I mean, that thing is pretty good. But as far as the epics go, um, I don't see... Oh, there's Magic Bomb. Oh, that's a good one, too. The Epic Tier Magic Bomb is pretty good. So when you draw from this, you should expect that you're mostly going to get not the stuff you want, and eventually with wishes, you might get the thing you really want. So you're guaranteed an epic or legendary artifact every 10 draws, and you're guaranteed a legendary artifact every 90 draws. Very interesting. Um, and it's recommended that you wish for your desired artifact before making a draw. You can open the artifact compendium up to 2,000 times per day. So how would you do that? Well, you can buy the bundle, which I'll talk about. You can make an exchange in the goblin market, which I'll show you. And you can purchase these suckers with gems at 600 gems a pop, which is not cheap, okay? It, it ain't cheap to do your draws. If you wanted to do regular artifact key draws, I can go over here and um, you can spend gems. I believe it is 600 gems a pop. So let's just do these pulls real quick. We'll drain my regular artifact keys so I can show you the cost of regular artifact key pulls. Um, yes, it is 600 gems a pop to get your universal artifact keys as well, okay? So the keys cost the same, whether you do the universal artifact compendium or the Forge of Light. And this zero out of two thing is really interesting. I guess that's your number of blessings that you've received, but also there's this other thing over here that's really interesting, which is that every 90 draws, you're guaranteed a legendary artifact. And does that carry on into eternity? There's no limit to the number of guaranteed legendaries you get after doing many draws. I mean, that's pretty wild, man. Um, now, if you did want to go and get these keys from the exchange, you can turn in stuff you don't need for stuff you want. So, for example, if I wanted, I could turn in a bunch of these um, regular or green artifact uh, emblems, okay? Uh, and it's going to give me artifact coins. Now, I have a lot of these. Remember, you do need these to star up your artifacts. So... Um, 
it, it's it's uh, not advisable, I would say, to get rid of all of them, but you're going to get a lot more of these, okay? And you can use that to get, boom, five keys a week over here. So you may want to be exchanging for these on a weekly basis. The five artifact keys, they cost 200, which is the same as the uh, regular artifact keys, okay? The forged artifact key costs the same thing. And this exchange, by the way, you can get to it by clicking the key in the upper right there, or you go to your market, okay? For me, it's the goblin market. Um, and I'm going to hit exchange, and that's how you can also get to that screen, all right? I made a video with this particular trick, by the way. Card will be up in the top for other tips and tricks you might be interested in. I'll remind you of that at the end of this video. Now, in terms of spending to get these, I went and I picked up the bundle, um, which is over here. Um, I picked up the $100 bundle, giving me 50 keys. The $50 bundle gives 25 keys. And the $20 bundle gives 10 keys, the $10 bundle gives five, and the $5 bundle gives threes. Uh, I, I am told, by the way, that the content of this bundle is identical to the regular artifact bundle, except you can only spend 185 bucks, only spend, okay? Um, whereas the regular artifact bundle, you can go to 385. However, this bundle does reset daily for three days. So you can see here, I did max purchase that bundle. It should return tomorrow at reset, and I may be live streaming this um, when I open more of my keys in the future. So consider subscribing if you're enjoying this video so far and you're getting value from the information I've provided or you want to see me live stream a key opening. For now, I've got my 90 plus keys, 98 of them, and I want to rip these open and I hope that I get lucky. So here we go on the Forge of Light, please. I'm wishing for the right thing. Give me luck, please. Ten pull. Epic. GG. We open all. And hey, Greenfinger Sickle's dope. I love the free resources off this thing. It's just very rewarding to use. The instant gratification of claiming the resources is quite nice. Uh, obviously not a combat item, but whatever. I will take it, and I'm happy with that. Okay, first pull down. Only one epic pulled from it. Here we go. Come on, baby. Epic. Okay. We get... One epic is a really weak pull. Cloak of Stealth. GG. If you were thinking that you're going to magically not get wrecked on these keys, any different than regular keys, you're wrong. However, there is the sort of wish system and there is the 90 keys luck thing. So let's see if that works out for me. Another 10 spot. One third of the pulls done for the day and I am sitting on three epics. A Potion of Vigor ain't bad. It is engineering related. It is a good one to max. I will put the skill on that. Good for building, good for a fort drop. However, 30 pulls in, no luck yet. Come on, baby. Yes, let's go. Okay, what legendary is it, chat? What do you think we get today? Greenfinger Sickle, that's a nice pickup. A little bonus. Now I'll have that thing maxed, I think. Come on, let's go. The Infernal Flame. I think I called that the internal flame all throughout the video. So if I did that, that's awkward. I almost certainly did. Infernal Flame. I've got it. I'm going to use this on Lilia. And I'm going to fill that thing with a ton of dust to be able to use it. Let's go, baby. Dust that I got from the bundle, by the way. Okay. Wicked. Love to see it. Let's get more of those, shall we? Now, if I hit confirm, you can see I'm zero out of two for my blessings over here. Because... I got it right away, which was a huge win. So let's keep pulling. Boom. What do we get? Open all. And it's an epic. Holy cow. Well, my green finger sickle is basically done now. Uh, we're, we're just done now. Okay. I feel good about that. And now every time I get this, I mean, I guess I'll use it to star up an artifact. So getting extra copies is not the worst. Eventually, they'll go into the exchange, which you can use to get keys. So that's the way to think about getting extras of stuff. Here we go. Let's draw 10. Okay. Epics. We are now um, two-thirds of the way done with our pulls. I did I did get the legendary I wanted, but I'm hoping to get more of them. I do get a pity draw after 90, so let's see what happens here. Epic. Okay. And Magic Bomb. Magic Bomb is good. That is a solid one. Okay. I haven't maxed it yet, but let's keep going. 28 more pulls. Come on. Epic little cringe. Here we go. It is the uh, unpronounceable book of advanced incantations. Okay, cool. 
a Chinridian of advanced incantations. All right, GG. Uh, ten pull, final ten pull, please. Come on, legendary. Come on. Oh, GG. Apex. Well, I told you that these keys can wreck you. Now I've done ninety pulls, and this says what? Um, you're guaranteed an epic or legendary artifact every 10 draws and a legendary artifact every 90. I feel like because I got a legendary artifact after 30, my pity draw might be 30 pulls later than it might have normally been, right? Like I did 90 pulls. Theoretically, my very next one pull will be legendary, but it's not, which means I need to do 29 more pulls to get my guaranteed legendary to have done a row of 90 with no legendary. Wow, it's a little complicated, but what this means is that I definitely want to do more keys. And what this means for you is you should pay very, 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 very close attention to how close you are to the pity timer. I actually find it kind of surprising they're not showing me my pity timer. It would be really cool and really simple to just show, I think, to players what their, their pity count is. And I feel like that'd be a win for the developers as well, because like it kind of encourages you to it, I think it encourages you to draw more. Um, and if you had to spend gems, you know, like to get your pity draw guaranteed legendary, pff, I mean, that could be worth depending on how many gems you have on hand. I have a lot of gems on hand because I bought a lot of bundles and I don't know yet how to best deploy my gems. Pretty soon I think I just need to start gemming technology, which is kind of crazy. But if I make my way over, ooh, immortal treasure. So when you unlock a new legendary, you get this bundle. Um, if if I make my way over here, okay, I am going to want to do a swap out here. I don't know that she's even in my city to do a swap out, but let's just see here. She is. Okay, great. And the infernal flame, I can level up. I can use a lot of dust here. Um, this will get me pretty far. Um, but let's just, for the sake of the video, I was basically drained on dust. Let's see how far this gets me. Ooh, okay. Uh, level 11, level 14, 16. All right. Yeah, you see it slows down really quickly here. I'm at level 21. We continue forward here. 23, 24, 25. Yeah, so I might be able to get to level 30. Okay. Um, but that is where I'm going to run out of dust. And there it is. All right, so it gives me a lot of magic attack, a lot of legion attack, and in some ways, it's really, really, really unfortunate that I already leveled up another magic artifact. Um, it's kind of tragic, but hey, with an extra mar magic artifact, maybe I can run a celestial march in the not too distant future, you know? So the other thing you need to do when you have one of these bad boys is you do need to star it up. And if you haven't ever seen this before, I did tell you you needed to save some of these uh, other artifact pulls you'd gotten because you use them as fodder you get rid of them to ascend bada boom i am literally shedding first greens now blues in order to do this okay um and i can also exchange at the goblin market which is kind of cool so we'll get rid of a bunch of these all right i can exchange extras at the goblin market and boom now i have to start exchanging epics which gets a little pricey. But I also, uh, can I, oh, can I start this up? I can. Ooh, I happen to have uh, one of these universals that I got from doing an elite challenge. And now I have to decide, like, gosh, what epic am I getting rid of? And I suppose I'll get rid of this epic that's specifically for PvE um, because, you know, it's behemoths and dark creatures. And I, I get that that matters, but I kind of don't care about that. So we ascend this bad boy. And we make it all the way to four stars. Now, I'm told that in later seasons, you can go all the way up to five and six stars, which is insane. And at that point, you're shedding legendaries, which is nuts. So just keep that in mind. I'll test this. I'll see how good it is. I'm hyped for it. I think it's going to be cool. Do I think the artifact I already had was very good? I mean, yeah, actually, it it is very good. The Tear of Arben's great. Okay. Make, make no doubt about it. I mean, the healing is pretty cool. Uh, it's really supportive. But I'm very eager to go this damage route, and I'll let you know what I think. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that you don't miss out when I provide an update on how this artifact is performing, or when I do more draws. And if you're looking for an overall video about artifacts, learning more about how they work and which ones are strong, I'll have a video in the end screen talking all about that, as well as that other video I promised you earlier on.